I wasn't even supposed to be doing a podcast, man. Wasn't even planning on doing a podcast the rest of this week. I'm supposed to be getting ready for vacation. That was up until I saw that Tom Pelissero tweeted out that the Minnesota Vikings and Mike Zimmer are closing in on a multi-year contract extension. Now, my reaction to that is I'm not really surprised, quite honestly. I figured... I figured that the Wolf Brothers would give Zim at least a one-year extension to avoid the lame duck questions by the media. Still, even if we're talking about a multi-year extension, I'm still not surprised because if you remember, this was before the wild card game up against the Saints these past playoffs. The Wolf Brothers came out. There was speculation about Mike Zimmer's future with the team. Wolf Brothers came out, released a statement. We have, and I'm paraphrasing here, we have every intent on keeping Mike Zimmer with the Vikings for the foreseeable future. And I said, if you do, if you do extend Mike Zimmer, assuming that he does nothing in these playoffs, then that signals to me, based on your actions, that you don't care about winning. Now, Spielman and Zimmer, they talk about winning. They talk about it all the time. We want to win championships. We want to bring the first championship to Minnesota. They do it. They're doing a lot of this, but it's been all talk, no action. And I get it. Hey, listen, the Zimmer stands, they're probably throwing a parade right now. Woo! yeah Mike Zimmer is the best thing that we've ever had throwing a parade celebrating uh, raising all sorts of holy hell for really an average head coach and that's really putting it politely because and I get it the 57 38 and one record or if you include the playoffs 59 41 and one but still that's just surface level when we're talking about the statistically speaking his performance up against teams with a winning record since 2014 among all active coaches in the league right now, Mike Zimmer with his 33% success rate against teams above 500 out of the 29 qualified active head coaches in the league right now. We're talking about 29 because the only reason it's not 32 is because, uh, goodness, the Giants, the Browns, and the Panthers heading into this upcoming season, they all have first-year head coaches. 20th 20th out of 29, Mike Zimmer in that success rate against teams above 500. So your bottom 10 also talked about this a couple of podcasts ago, in which case in his losses in the playoffs, the Minnesota Vikings, every competitive stat, the Minnesota Vikings led by Mike Zimmer are a bottom 10 team oh my god he's better than anything we've had before and i talked about this in the youtube live stream that i did the other day i said listen when it comes to anybody else any coach any player any gm what have you anybody else we compare them against their peers right now across the rest of the league when we talk about dalvin cook we don't talk about michael bennett we don't talk about Jarek mckinnon we don't talk about matt asiata we compare dalvin cook to a christian mccaffrey a, a, a zeke elliott a saquon barkley those guys but with mike zimmer the floor is, or the ceiling is just so fucking low oh my god where that's the standard those are the low standards that we have Oh, my God. Well, he's better than uh, Mike Tice and Brad Childress and Leslie Frazier. So the fuck what? It, by sitting here saying that we are going to have Mike Zimmer on for the foreseeable future, for the long haul, you're saying that you don't care about winning. You're saying that you're complacent with just being an okay team. Mike Zimmer has demonstrated over the last six years that he doesn't have what it takes to go toe-for-toe -toe against the big boys in the big games against quality competition. This man, I don't know what Mike Zimmer has done to get his ass consistently kissed for doing the bare minimum. I swear I'm not even kidding. Mike Zimmer should be a motivational speaker to influence the future leaders of America to say this is what you can do to be successful for doing absolutely nothing listen man we can sit here and, and oh Mike Zimmer he's so great congratulations for beating up on the Detroit Lions the New York Giants the Washington Redskins all these bum ass teams but against quality competition uh, teams above 500 both in the regular season and in the playoffs your bottom 10 among active head coaches this is a joke i'm not surprised i don't even care congrats mike zimmer i want to be like 
you one day. We do this at least once a week. Mediocre at Best Sports Podcast with Realistic Randy. Check me out on Twitter at Realistic underscore Randy. Facebook at Realistic Randy. Going on vacation, going out to Ocean City, Maryland. So I'll be putting out content uh, sporadically. It will either be YouTube live streams or it will be selfie videos reacting to news if anything happens. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you next time. Congrats, Zim!